Well, good morning, South Lake family and friends, and happy Saturday to you. Today is day six of our 21 Days in the Word journey together, and you can access our reading plan and other resources on our website, southlakechurch.com. And so we're reading through the book of Acts over these three weeks, and we provided the reading plan, a memory verse for each day's reading, and then this daily devotional, which will correlate to the memory verse. Again, you can find these resources on our website, southlakechurch.com. So today, according to our prayer guide, please read Acts chapters 7 and 8. And our memory verse today is Acts 8, verse 4. Now, Acts chapter 7 is all about Stephen's address to the Jewish high council. And after the high priest demands he answers what were false accusations, by the chapter's end, Stephen becomes the first martyr of the church. And so Stephen speaks on their Jewish history in his address, but towards the end, he begins to indict the council for the rejection of Jesus, their Messiah. And he tells them, you are a stubborn people, deaf to the truth, he says. You resist the Holy Spirit. He says, your ancestors murdered the prophets, and, and now you have betrayed and murdered, he says, the Messiah. And then suddenly, after all that, Stephen had a vision. He's given a vision of Jesus standing in the place of honor at God's right hand, which is an interesting reference because we're told in Ephesians 2 that Jesus is seated at God's right hand. So this is cool, the idea that Jesus would stand to honor and welcome Stephen, the first martyr of the church into heaven, is really quite a moving thought to me. Well, it's no wonder, after all this, that the Jewish High Council, High Council went absolutely berserk. It says they were infuriated, and they drove Stephen out of town, and then they stoned him, which was Jewish capital punishment. And we're told a young man named Saul oversaw and approved of Stephen's martyrdom. And of course, Saul was soon to become the Apostle Paul. And so we'll read that inspiring story Paul's conversion in Acts chapter 9, but, but following Stephen's martyrdom at the very end of chapter 8, chapter 7 rather, we begin to move into chapter 8 with verses 1 to 3 telling us this. It says, a great wave of persecution began that day, the day of Stephen's martyrdom, and it swept throughout the church in Jerusalem, and all the believers except the apostles were scattered. And this then, our daily memory verse, is the very next verse. So here it is, Acts chapter 4. It says, but the believers who were scattered preached the good news about Jesus wherever they went. I love that. Because we see that God clearly used persecution to do what? To scatter an apparently comfortable church in order to spread the word, the message of Jesus, to lost people who needed him. In other words, reaching the lost is that important to God. And the early church got that. They shared the heart of God for the lost and God's heart for the truth, and they willingly and faithfully, though they were scattered, literally running for their lives due to persecution, but they boldly shared the message of Jesus wherever they went with whomever they could. And such was their commitment to the Word of God. Now, we may not be persecuted, and I pray that you are not, <laughs> but may we, as did the early church, see ourselves as daily scattered by God on our jobs, in our neighborhoods, all over the greater Portland area, scattered by God that we would share the message of God, the good news about Jesus, wherever we go with whoever we can, wherever he would send us today and every day. So let's pray. Lord, that's our heart. Thank you for this amazing example of Stephen and the early church. Lord, they got comfortable too. We do many times as well. But Lord, would we, would you see us every day as scattered, really sent by you? Lord, uh, we can reach so many people. Uh, and we and other believers all over our area, Lord, we pray that you would use us. And we thank you that you will. Give us opportunities and help us to see our lives for the impact that we can make for you for the good news about Jesus. So thank you. Pray for this day, Lord. Let's pray it'd be a great weekend. Pray to keep us warm <laughs> uh, in all the snow that's going on right now. But Lord, thank you for providing, protecting, directing us and our families and our church family. We pray in Jesus' name. Would you say amen with me? Amen and amen. Well, you're, amen. You're loved. God bless. Have a great day. Talk to you soon.